Greetings, Microscopists. This is Eric Miller from Instructinate, and today we're going to be looking at a serious problem that anyone who has ever used a scanning electron microscope has likely run into at least once. So you've got this sample, and the image is extremely noisy, and it's so noisy you can't focus the image. So what do you do? Well, first off, why is the image noisy? Well, there could be several reasons as to why it looks like this. First off, you may have a sample that just doesn't give off much signal. Maybe it's very flat. Uh, maybe it's made up of mostly low atomic number elements. Whatever. Another option is that maybe you're using the backscatter detector, which may have a poor signal-to-noise ratio in a fast scan speed. Or maybe you're using some other detector, which is just very noisy at fast scan speeds. But whatever the cause is, the bottom line is that your image is super noisy because you don't have enough current hitting the sample to form a good image in a faster scan. And if this is the case, you have two options to fix it. First, you have to increase the voltage or you can increase the current. And you can do that by putting in a larger aperture, increasing the spot size, uh, etc. However, you may not be able to do any of those things. Maybe you have to run the microscope in this low current mode on purpose. Maybe you're trying to get better resolution, or maybe the sample is very beam sensitive. So if you absolutely positively have to run the microscope in this super noisy low current mode, how do you even go about focusing this mess? Well, here's one trick that I've learned over the years which might help you, and that is a slow scan focus. Well, what the heck is that? Great question, I'm glad you asked. Now, because the signal is so low, trying to focus the image in this fast scan is just a big waste of time. Even using the reduced scan mode, I just can't see anything that I can identify as an actual structure. Maybe I can barely see something here, but I, I don't know, it's just not helping me. I mean, the image could be in focus right now and I wouldn't even know it. But once we go to a slow scan, we'll be able to get enough signal off of the sample to form a usable image. So here's what you do. You start off with a slow scan. Uh, now, how slow the scan needs to be is up to you. I would say round about this slow is probably adequate for what we're doing right now. Uh, it could be slower for you, and it might even be a little faster for you. It depends. But I'm going to start the focus above where I know the sample is. Um, or I'll start it well below where I think the sample is. For example, when I put a sample into this particular microscope, I know that the sample should be somewhere between eight and nine millimeters. So I'll start here around seven millimeters and I'm going to focus downward away from the lens very slowly. So I'm using the coarse focus knob and at a, I'm at a very low magnification. And if we start turning the knobs, we can start to see some structures, which is exactly what I wanna see and Oh, it looks like we're already in focus. I, th I think we found it. But I'm gonna keep turning the knob and I can see that it's gone out of focus. I can move it back a little bit. Uh, basically just move it back and forth to get a feel for right where it's in focus. Which looks to be right about there. And you can see that that was very quick. This was very simple, very easy to do. And we'll do it again at a higher magnification and see what we can get out of it. So we'll start here at around nine millimeters and I'll focus it back up towards the lens uh, to where I think the sample should be. And I'm using the coarse focus knob right now, but at this higher mag, I think that's probably a little too much. So I'm going to use the fine focus knob instead. And oh, and there was our sample already. We found it right there. So this technique is really, really helpful. Now, if I go to a reduced scan box, I can go up in magnification, uh, and we can see some little structures here, uh, and now we can actually focus this pretty well now. But starting off from scratch, ugh, this was just not doable at all. Now, this is really helpful if you're dealing with very poor signal to noise, maybe with a backscatter detector or any other sample where you have to run the microscope like I'm running it right now in this very low current mode. Uh, I'll go ahead and capture this image just for fun, but you can see how very quick and easy this was from to start off from super noisy, super horrible, totally unusable image into, hey, now it's in focus. And now we can go on to do other alignments like the aperture alignment, we can do the stigmators now, etc. 
This was quick and easy. Bam, that's how you do it. So here's our final captured image, which is a far cry from this crazy mess that we were trying to figure out initially. So sometimes you're just stuck with these super high noise images and you just have to learn these little tips and tricks to work around it. Special thanks to Materials Analytical Services in Suwannee, Georgia for letting me borrow their Hitachi SU8230 cold source field emission SEM. And if you want to keep up to date with all the latest electron microscopy related news, new products, conferences, etc., go check out my website right now, instructinate.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.